Home life, ladies and gentlemen. A very interesting question I received in the comments. Will I be successful because of my past life good deeds? <laughs> or will I have to work it out myself? <laughs> so will I be successful because of luck or hard work? Right? These are very interesting questions. Well, the problem with this question is, or rather the problem with the answer is, this is not a binary situation, which means it doesn't mean that you will only be successful because of luck. And it doesn't mean you will only be successful because of hard work. Because uh, from the Vedic perspective, we understand that there are different uh, there are different parameters for success. So one of them is uh, hard work or work in general. It's karma, right? The karma that you do in this life, the, the, the work that you do to get something. Uh, but as per uh, the Vedic scriptures, there is also the karma that we have done in our previous lifetimes. So if uh, we have uh, certain pious activities from the past lifetimes, then uh, things come to us a bit easier. You will see this with people always. You will see that uh, people who you might feel are not as talented as you, uh, they are doing much better than you in life. Uh, people who do not work as hard as you are not doing uh, are, are doing much better than you in life. Or maybe they feel the same way about you. <laughs> but using astrology, your the horoscope and numerology, which is the date of birth, we can get an idea uh, and we can try to understand uh, what is more important for this person. Is, uh, is this person uh, destined to get everything by his hard work or uh, he or she uh, will do hard work, but primarily the uh, achievements in this life will come not because of uh, hard work alone, but also uh, because of the uh, previous lifetimes, uh, pious karma, the good deeds, uh, punya, purva punya as they say, right? Now, whenever I say purva punya, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh yes, we know which house he's going to talk about. It's the fifth house, right? Uh, well, uh, yes and no. Before we go to the fifth house, let's discuss something else. And even before that, if you're new to the channel, then please subscribe to it down below and if you have similar questions, then please let me know in the comments. Uh, that is all I do these days. Whenever I uh, read the comments, I see interesting questions and I make videos, right? And if you want a consultation from me uh, regarding your career, relationships or marriage, uh, please go to my website, which also you will most likely find down in the description section. God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him irrespective of the fact you need to do hard work or you get things by luck, right? So before we get into astrology, let's uh, go to your date of birth, which is the numerology, right? So as per numerology, which is the number of luck? Yes, you guessed it right. It's the number seven. So number seven in numerology is the number of luck. Now, this number seven can come mm, in three ways in your chart. So one is either you have the number seven in your date of birth, which means uh, you are born on 17th of any any month, right? So one, seven something. Or you are born in July, any day, any year. So you are born in July. Uh, or you are born uh, in 1987 or 1957, 1967, 1997, or you know, 2007, 2017, 27 in the future, right? So there is a seven. Whenever you see your date of birth, you just see there is seven. Okay. So that's one way uh, you can know that there is seven. What is the other way? Other way is known as the basic number, which is you add your day just. So for example, you are born uh, on uh, 23rd of any month. Any month. It can be Jan, Feb, March, December, any month. And Two plus three is five. So suppose you are born on 7th of any month or uh, you're born in 16th or 25th. Okay. Because seven is like seven plus zero is seven. Then one plus six is seven and two plus five is seven. So that's your basic number. Okay. And what's the third way that uh, you can get seven actually? 
that is your destiny number when you add the entire date of birth okay so you can see um, and try you can try and check you know which date of birth can come to seven so add your day your month and year and if you get number like you know uh, 25 then it's again seven okay or you get 34 then it is again three plus four is seven so either you have seven or your basic number is seven or your destiny number is seven either either ways if one of the three ways you have seven uh, then then it is uh, understood that the person has a higher amount of luck in this life and will and this person uh, will have luck on his side it it is guaranteed that luck is there on this person's side now among these three which one is the most powerful among these three if you have destiny number as your seven it, it is the third case as i said your entire date of birth sum if that is seven then you are the most luckiest okay uh, can you write down below in the comments of uh, any person that you know who has seven or basic seven or destiny seven and uh, you can write down uh, you you will see uh, that these people they have exceptionally good things in life without working much for it and uh, they will have relatively more success uh, more luxury more money more name fame more happiness you know compared to other people you will see that always now this is because of the previous karma of their past lifetimes that's it it's not that uh, just because you know they have seven it will happen no but why do they have seven because uh, they they have done some exceptional good karma in the past because of that they they are having that okay now let's go to astrology and see uh, what are some of the placements and then at the end we'll try to combine both numerology and astrology so um, if you go to astrology you will see that if the lagna lord is strong then it means the person irrespective of the luck factor working for him or working against him, the person will uh, put 100% efforts. But now will the person be successful? Because just putting efforts doesn't mean that you are successful, right? So, first you have to see the Lagna Lord. If the Lagna Lord is uh, not very strong, but the horoscope is indicating success, this means uh, the person will be maybe you know may win some lottery or something like that and the person may have a lot of money you know it, it's something like that or the person may be born in a very rich family or in a very influential family uh, and then because of that the person might have a lot of resources but the person does not have uh, the caliber to work hard okay irrespective of the fact there is seven in the numerology so uh, numerology 7 will work irrespective of any placement in the horoscope okay now uh, if the person has a strong lagna lord it means the person is ready to put whatever it takes to be successful in every area of life not just money career profession name fame power position in any area of life so therefore a strong lagna lord is very important so when you see that the lagna lord is strong then you know that if there are additional uh, factors in the horoscope for good success and the dashas agree then the person will be very successful but now how do you determine how much success is there well you have to see for every event of life you know which are the houses so for example if you see that uh, the person has a very strong 10th house after seeing the lagna lord so this means the person will have a lot of success in the profession and will be very famous will have a lot of wealth uh, name fame power position and in the 11th house also links uh, it is massive success uh, but this success uh, if the lagna lord is strong the 10th house and the uh, the 10th house especially is not success via luck it does not mean that you have a strong 10th house things will just come to you it doesn't mean that it will come because of your hard work and your skills because Mercury is the Karaka. Mercury uh, is the Karaka for the 10th house, uh, which shows skill. So you have skill, you have developed it yourself. Um, and of course, if the 5th house is involved, then you know these skills are coming from the past lifetime. 
and uh, that can uh, make your path a bit easier right because whenever you we as i said in the beginning whenever we hear you know pull up on punya we just think oh it's the fifth house right so if the lagna lord fifth fifth lord and the tenth lord if they are somehow related you know they are to be conjunct or, or they are mutually aspecting each other or they are in parivartan or something some or any kind of yoga they are involved with or they are in kendra uh, right to each other also then we know that the person uh, will be successful through his own efforts but the person has also the skills from the past lifetime so that means there is more success than expected because you are very skillful at something so people are ready to pay you uh, to improve their lives now if the 11th house is linked oh this shows there is great blessing great karma from the past lifetimes this is the house of luck in astrology the 11th house so if assume that your fifth lord is in the 11th and your lagna lord is in the 10th or you know either ways your lagna lord is in the 11th or 10th lord is in the 5th something like this you know if all these four houses are somehow uh, linked or they are sitting in each other's nakshatras or something like the, you know they are in parivartan or they are um, aspecting each other any form of yoga then you know uh, there is luck extreme luck is there with the 11th house and there is uh, extreme talent from the past lifetimes and there is extreme determination and there is extreme success so lagna gives determination 10th house gives success 5th house gives past life knowledge 11th house gives luck okay so 11th house is like uh, 3x of anything okay so somebody is getting a job for like in india in it because i am from it i can say so uh, somebody is getting a job of 3 lakhs per annum you know it's like 11th house is like 10 lakhs per annum it's something like that <laughs> just to uh, explain it to you so now if the fifth house is not involved but the first and the 10th and the 11th are involved it means the person will learn the skills gradually but also he has luck on his side okay this is this means that and uh, if the dustanas are involved Mm -hmm. then it means uh, the person will have to work very 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 hard okay so sixth lord in 10th eighth lord in 10th or you know sixth lord in 11th 11th lord in the 12th 11th lord in the 8th so lagna lord in 6th 8th or 12th then it means the the person does not have luck on his side now of course the overall chart has to be seen but uh, these are some uh, parameters by which i want to tell you how to approach this okay and of course if the sixth eighth and twelfth houses are involved but the fifth house is also involved now what does this mean this means that the person is carrying the skills from the past lifetimes but is facing some hindrance in implementing it in this real world okay but if the eleventh lord is also involved, so if assume that the eleventh lord is in tenth and the eighth lord is also in the tenth so then it means luck is there but after some kind of uh, some mysterious event happens in life you know somebody dies and then you rise up or something like that you know these things can happen uh, but if the 11th lord is involved then there there is rapid success through luck and if the 10th house is involved then it is also because of your uh, skill so therefore if the 10th lord is in 11th 11 or 11th lord is in 10th this shows you are skillful and you are also lucky that's the best and along with that if you have a lagna lord strong wow that's like the icing on the cake and if you have the fifth house also it's like the cherry on top okay so now we know from astrology so now now we go to the numerology so suppose uh, we see that uh, the person has seven and all these factors uh, in uh, astrology, then the person is very lucky, extremely lucky. If the person has basic number seven and all these combinations, even more lucky. And if the person has destiny seven and all these factors, you know, strong Lagna Lord, strong fifth house, strong tenth house, strong eleventh house, extremely successful in profession. Extremely, it's like the pinnacle of success this person will reach. Okay. And uh, generally, you will not find such horoscopes where, you know, everything is just lined up. Uh, it, it won't happen. You know, you will always find um, that 
there is some problem or the other, you know, something is not happening. That's what life is. But within that, there will be some people who will have these combinations. And when I study, then I realize, wow, this person is really blessed. And uh, if the Lagna Lord is strong and the 10th house is strong, then the person is also ready to do whatever it takes. Okay. So therefore, uh, now if you do not have seven, uh, it doesn't mean you will not be successful. <laughs> But it's just that you got to put some more efforts, okay? And just because you have seven, it doesn't mean you don't have to do anything in life, okay? So if you have seven or if you have basic seven or destiny seven in your horoscope, then you are really blessed. You should uh, thank God for the blessings in life. And uh, you should use your blessings to do more good karma so that if you take a next birth in your next life, you'll have a, even a better life, okay? So do more charity, do more, uh, help people more, do more for others. And that's how uh, you will uh, you will be happy and have a better life even in the future. And yes, uh, there are other combinations also which shows, you know, bad luck. <laughs> which is like the opposite where you are doing, 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 but there's no result, right? And the same can be replicated for marriage or like... Uh, for anything in life okay just take the houses and follow the same principle so for profession it's the 10th house now you can replicate all these principles for the 7th house if you want to see for marriage okay so that will be all from my side thank you very much ladies and gentlemen and uh, if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below my website for consultations is also below god is there with you all the time irrespective of the fact you have seven or not in your word date okay thank you very much just look to him and you'll find him